Hi, welcome to In a Pickle Knitting, Vlogtober, um, day five. Today's October 5th, 2018. Welcome back if you've joined me for the other days in Vlogtober, and if you haven't, um, thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I will be sharing a children's literature book with you for a seasonal book, and also um, a seasonal craft. So let's go ahead and get started. Our book today is called Pumpkins, and it is um, illustrated by Phyllis Limbacher Tills, and it was written by Jacqueline Farmer. And this is a great book. It's um, a nonfiction book, and it has so many interesting details about pumpkins in it. It starts off um, describing the different varieties of pumpkins. It talks about some historical um, details about pumpkins and how they've been eaten and used including back to in the US the pilgrims coming over and it talks about how we use them today which is largely for jack-o-lanterns but they were once um, a very important food source because they stayed fresh for a long period of time in root cellars and things like that so they provided nourishment um, throughout uh, the non-growing seasons and it um, talks about how, what we need to do to grow pumpkins and that entire process. And um, then it talks about why people started making jack-o'-lanterns and it gives two different stories about um, how that came to be. And then it goes on to tell you how, gives you directions for um, carving your own jack-o'-lantern and specifically says to enlist adult help. Even gives you a tip for keeping your jack-o'-lantern looking nice for a longer, uh, period of time some of the foods that we can make from uh, pumpkin gives you a recipe for pumpkin maple pie and instructions for how to make your own pumpkin se roasted pumpkin seeds in in the back it tells you what you would what a pumpkin would be called in a variety of different places and some of those facts like um, what was the world's heaviest pumpkin the largest um, a world champion carver, things like that. And then there's a bibliography in the back listing some other books and websites you might like to use if you want to know more about pumpkins. So I find this a very nice reference material, very approachable for younger children, um, not too much on each page, but in lots of different things. And of course you can browse through it just like you would any nonfiction book. So that's our book for today. Our craft for today is another Pinterest craft that I saw. And the example that I made um, is one way. Um, there are many other ways that you can do this. Some maybe take a little bit more time and they all have a little different look but are um, very look very nice when they're done. And this is to use some of your canning rings. So the ring that goes around your mason jar or whatever type jar that you use for canning, just using that ring. Now I had, uh, I used about 25, 24 or 25, and I already had those on hand because I had a lot of mason jars. And so, But you can buy them in a box, and I think there's usually about 18 in a box. So you probably have to buy two boxes to make one pumpkin. And you also need some cinnamon sticks and a rubber band or uh, some hot glue to hook the cinnamon sticks together. And then some leaves of some sort if you want, or you can tie a bow around the top. Now the, what I did with the canning ring was I used washi tape. And in doing so, my washi tape was fairly new. Um, so it, I, I don't know how long it maybe had been in the store, but it did tend to come up off of the um, ring. So I went around the ring with the washi tape. So I put a little bit of Elmer's glue as it started to come up and just kind of smeared that in and that kept it in place. But instead you could spray paint your uh, lit rings and you could spray paint them in a a cream color or white, um, you could do orange and um, you know different, you could add glitter to them I suppose like I did the other day when I painted something. So um, you're going to either paint them or cover the ring with something you could use ribbon. I used washi tape. I saw one example where they spray painted them and they took strips of text from an old book and put around the edges. So just, you know, whatever kind of a look you'd like. But it was very easy. I just put the washi tape around. I got all 25 together and I used a pipe cleaner for the inside, actually a chenille stick about 12 inches long, and just ran it through and tightened it really tight. Spread them out, you're gonna have a little space in the middle. I put um, hair, uh, not a rubber band, but like one of those that you do for ponytails in your hair that's covered. 
um, I just wrap that around my cinnamon sticks twice and put it down inside and shove my little um, wire that had some pumpkin leaves on it inside and that made a little pumpkin. So check out Pinterest for that and you might like to, um, if you have those materials on hand, that'd be a really quick and easy pumpkin craft. But thanks so much for stopping by today and hopefully I'll see you on Vlogtober Day 6 tomorrow. Bye bye. Guess what? I totally forgot something and that is um, I have a nice little core group of people who are enjoying the Vlogtober posts that I'm making and I appreciate that so much and I appreciate all of your sweet comments. And so for you as a group of people, I would like to offer a, a little prize if you're interested and I'm going to um, draw a winner of the prize from the comment section below. So if you would be interested in winning, and I'll show you the prize in just a second, if you'd be interested in winning, what I'd like for you to do is to make a comment about what you'd like to see in, the, in uh, one of the future Vlogtober episodes. I have a plan for every day, but you might have something better and or something more challenging for me to try. And so um, I I won't promise I'll do any of them, and I do already have a number of things that I definitely plan to do, as I've already made it or purchased things for it or I'm working on it. So, but you know, I might take an idea or two from your suggestions. But anyway, that will be your entry into the um, the prize. And what I would like to offer is this little project bag. This is a drawstring bag, and it doesn't have a drawstring in it. I'll tell you why in a sec. But it it has an attached handle, and it does have a pocket inside. And in the, the fabric are these little Halloween cupcakes and then a polka dot design. Now, that I have two ribbons and I just can't decide. Would it look better with the orange ribbon in the drawstring or this black and white polka dot? The polka dot um, is not the same size, so I wasn't sure how that would look. But I will offer that as, and I'm not even going to put it in. I will just wait and whoever is the winner, you can choose if you would like orange or black and white polka dot. Okay, so um, thank you so much for tuning in, and if you'll make that comment and um, please hit like, then that will be your vote. Thank you. Bye-bye.